Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Go, queen. You got this. I believe in you. This is the step. This is your first step in your rehabilitation. Yeah, maybe we should just end it after writing the next poem. I feel like my brain can't handle much more. I think that's a good stopping point is the next poem. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica. Stop it, you freaking simp. Yuri is the better choice. So let's just say that one day Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? I would walk home with Yuri. Monica, please mind your own business for once. Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping it wait I can't tell which fan is going louder the one in my head or the one on my computer <laughs> how come even when I do something bad you're being nice to me cause I'm in love with you you idiot oh sorry sorry we're jumping the script too many pages I really like being friends aww me too you're see I can save her do you see what's going on me simply uh -huh. existing in her life is saving uh -huh. her. This is part of the rehabilitation. Yeah. Mm. But I'm doing my best to help you. See, I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. I can save mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. What? Why? Why do I have chocolate in my bag? Maybe it's like those, you know, those pills they would have in a war where like you can instantly just die if you take the pill. That's what chocolate is uh, for me. Cyanide? Yeah. Like chocolate is my cyanide. <laughs> So if I ever feel like I'm in a bad situation, I can just... That's a quote. <laughs> Chocolate is my cyanide. <laughs> Chocolate is my cyanide. Just pop it in there. All right. Bam. Then I'm out of here. Thank you. All right. But... I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Well, <laughs> bye, guys. This is the end of the stream. <laughs> Chocolate is my cyanide. Oh, I feel her hot breath on my fingers. No! No! <laughs> On this episode of Monica Talk Blog, everyone. I want to not be here anymore. <laughs> I'm very angry at Monica right now. And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And, and they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? How dare they say that? I will murder them in their sleep. Whoa. How dare they? Whoa. That is rude. Pulls out the clock. All right. Who said that Whoa. about Yuri? I'll take you out right now. We'll fight behind the school. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. Based. In game and out game. Good job, me. All right. Let's go to Natsuki. Get out of the way. She's going to make fun of me for writing a poem for my girlfriend. Yeah. He, yeah, no thanks. You didn't even, next. Yeah, see? What a freaking loser. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Oh no, wait, hold on. Is me going so hard after Yuri having negative consequences on the rest of the people in this story? Yes. Uh. Whoop, well, sucks to suck. Ela, Sayuri is second best girl? False. Uh, that is false, actually. Nick is starting to fight people in chat. <laughs> he really is losing his brain cells. <laughs> Listen, what's a stream if I don't chaotically fight with the people supporting me, huh? You must be pretty into her. Okay, hold on. Don't go throwing accusations. They may be true, but that doesn't mean you can go and throw accusations around, okay? Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got... I would like to point out the people in chat are saying Monica is best girl. Ah! Anyway, moving on. I know who I'm going to kill. Wait, really? Whoa! <laughs> oh, thank God. It's a fictional one. Whew. <laughs> Dodged a bullet there. Monica is first best girl? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I feel like that's wrong. I feel like everyone in chat is wrong. Okay, here, here. I'll do another I'll do another poll for the people in chat. do a poll? Oh no, Monica's winning. Oh my god, all six votes. Guys, stop it. Monica wins the vote with 67%. Seven votes? Somebody voted Sayori? Okay, so Monica's still leading with 57%. Natsuki, last girl by small bet. Yes, true. She didn't even read my poem, okay? She dismissed it. We've started the waifu wars in the, in the We've chat. We've started oh, our, no. our chat, our chat engagement. <laughs> Is gonna just skyrocket Let's here. Go. No, stop! Not the pity vote for Sayori. 
All right, I'm ending the poll before anything else chaotic happens. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Monica wins best girl vote. I mean, I'm disappointed in all of you, but understandable. Monica for president 2024. Okay. I would vote for her, though, because honestly, she's better than most of the options we've got going for us. Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that. Oh, God, that was... Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We got to unpack that for a second. Wait. Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I would know that better than anyone. What? Wait. <laughs> I'm confused. That's a little sus... It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? We're all and done. At the end of the poems, day, right? Yeah. You will be your own literature club. <laughs> it's not about the. It's not about the journey. It's about the little literature club Liter we made along the way. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Sus Monica. Sus Jeez, Monica. Sus Monica. Sus Monica. <laughs> Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Oh God, what am I about to walk into? I don't know. What am I about, to, are walk you about into? to walk into? I don't. I. Oh God. Oh no. No. I don't like where this is going. Because this I, game is depressing. I feel like I know what I'm walking into, but I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Avon Guard. <laughs> well, if that comes, my body, mind, and soul is prepared. G good for you. Mine is not. <laughs> no, now it's. Now. <laughs> it was one stutter, Nick. <laughs> it was a single stutter. It was not just. It was not a stroke. It was a single stutter. <laughs> it's not like Monica is going to give me a choice. Okay, all right, chat. Who do I spend the weekend with? Natsuki, Monica, or Yuri? I already know you're all going to pick Monica, but I'm going to just give you the veiled, like, perception of choice. Uh, so you guys pick. Who do I go spend the weekend with? I'm probably not going to listen to you anyway and go to Yuri's anyway. But, oh, uh, Alex, thank you for pulling up and saying Yuri. So therefore, oh, uh, Ela too. All right, that's two votes for Yuri. You guys actually, maybe, you know, chat, maybe you're not so bad. But of course, I'm going to go with, okay, wait. Someone said Sayori, and I kind of feel bad. Like, I feel like I should pick Sayori because she left early. Or, and hear me out on this one, I could fully commit to Yuri. Uh, one thing I'll mention. The game is fairly scripted to the point of no matter who you choose, uh, you will still go and check on Sayori. All right, well, <laughs> chat, your opinion doesn't matter. We're going with Yuri, since it doesn't matter. Should I give you my phone number? All right, chat. Here's my phone number. It's 123-456-7890. Oh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. She doesn't want me to see her uh, massive, absolutely massive manga collection. Yuri has a shrine of Nick made out of MHA manga. <laughs> Yuri is coming to my house on Sunday. Oh, guys. Okay, Megan's in the chat. We have to start behaving now. Colin? Yeah, what's up? We have to start behaving now. No. Okay, that works for me. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? I mean, I don't know. We're four hours into the stream. I think it's okay. I haven't heard anything from Sayori since she left club the other day. Oh, that's incredibly suspicious. I head up to her bedroom where I find... Oh, God. I'm... Oh my god, no. Sayori? Oh my god, okay, thank god. Holy <laughs> shit. I thought she was dead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I thought she was fucking dead. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about festival prep, 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 preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. But Don't think I didn't hear that. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Imagine not being able to say preparations. Shut up, okay? <laughs> When you've been reading consistently for four hours, you would also get tired, okay? <laughs> I've had really bad depression. My oh, shit, this just got really real. Okay. <laughs> That's why I've been laughing this entire time. It got I'm really like, real. Man, oh, man, you were making so much, so many jokes about this, calling her a pick-me girl, and I'm just like, <laughs> oh, okay, no. I, I take back everything I said. Um, That's not fair. Depression is very real. <laughs> came out of left field wow that escalated quickly <laughs> yes it really did 
without anyone worrying about me. All right. Okay, listen. In-game me, you just have to be really reassuring, okay? Sayuri is a great person. And honestly, she has worth. She has value. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. All right, give her a hug, damn it. Jeez, just walk up and give her a hug, man. She needs a hug. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. No, okay. You know, this game's not allowed to make me feel bad for neglecting the childhood friend, okay? Okay, stop hey, that. you played the game. <laughs> or did the game play me this time? I put, yes, give her a hug. Let's go. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Oh, see, I want to spend it all with Yuri. But now the game is making me feel bad if I mm -hmm. don't spend it with Sayori. Hey, hey, I told you, I told you there were going to be consequences. I wasn't, I wasn't saying that you should do one or the other. Before we get into Yuri coming over to my house, I need to get my phone mm -hmm. charger. So Colin, uh, entertain chat. Hi, what's up chat? Uh, how you doing? Uh, you guys, uh, having some crying after a really depressed, uh, depressing scene? Yeah, um, I knew this was coming. I've seen this game before, so I know exactly like what's happening, and I'm kind of guiding Nick through this through the route that he wants. So, um, I'm just kind of here. Uh, so don't blame me if you guys are crying. Uh, so yeah, wasn't wasn't my fault. This game is heavy, and we yeah emotional damage. Emotional damage. Wow. So this is what the inside of my room. Okay, hold on. Let's psychoanalyze. Let's uh, let's. Oh, frick! That's not. Where's what I the? To do. Where's the? Where's no, the manga? Stop. Where's the my hero? Okay, hold Where? on, hold on. We're gonna go into settings. Re <laughs> Fuck! No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, hold on. Where is it? Don't leak your IP. I won't. It's fine. Okay, everybody, look away. <laughs> right now. Let me pick an image to put over the screen because Colin's <laughs> right. I don't want to leak my IP address. That Okay, here we go. Here. We'll put Monica <laughs> on screen. That covers half the, For, hold half on. the screen. Shit. The game is going to be at a, like, a slight angle. <laughs> okay, here we go. You almost just zoomed in on... Okay. Everybody watch, Monica's okay. skirt. Everybody watch Monica for just two seconds while I figure this out. <laughs> uh, Hi, Monica. How are you, Monica? I'm doing great, Colin. Thanks for asking. I didn't ask <laughs> you. I asked Monica. <laughs> Sorry, I've been Monica all night. <laughs> no, you haven't. <laughs> How to turn on Zoom on Switch. So we're going to go to system settings. And then we're going to go to system all the way down to the bottom. And then we're going to go down to zoom. Okay, zoom is on. Oh, I'm, oh my God, I'm an idiot. I'm supposed to press the home button, not the capture button. Okay, now that I know what to do, let's psychoanalyze what's in my room. All right, so there's books on that shelf. There's a hanger, which does imply that I have clothes. There's some kind of like, DVDs or CDs or something. I don't listen to music. That's cringe. Uh, more books. More <laughs> books. That looks like a PlayStation oh my God. 4. That is a that is a PS2. <laughs> okay, that works too. <laughs> yeah, I, I like how Alex pointed out how many screenshots of Yuri there were. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, there's a keyboard and a mouse, which implies that I have a PC, which would be nice. Um, there's my chair. And I have two pillows on my bed. I don't know who the other one's for. Uh, I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ew, what am I hiding in the desk drawer? It's my <laughs> secret. It's my secret communist manifesto. It's, don't look no, in there. No, 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 no. It's the, um, you know, it's all of your My Hero manga. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't open that drawer. Atmospheric enhancements. You know, mood lightening, aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Hold on. I feel like her and I are talking about two different things. Because if she's going to pull out the diffuser and the essential oils, then that's a big green flag for me. I like the I like the thought that in the drawer was all of the screenshots of Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh, yeah? Like what? 
Let's see. Uh, I got peppermint essential oils. I got thieves. I got Christmas spirit. I got a whole ass diffuser in here. She pulls out a nuclear bomb. <laughs> pulls out an entire refrigerator. <laughs> she actually is she Mary Poppins. <laughs> yeah, that would be really neat. What's that wooden thing though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. Let's go. Yuri, best girl. Hold on. Allow me. They said essential oils. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Got to save on the, on the diffuser for essential oil. All right, chat. Here, I'll expose myself. <laughs> Holy shit. You took a lot. <laughs> How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Oh, uh, listen, I have a diffuser running in my room right now. Yuri trying to seduce Nick. Yes, actually. She got the essential oils. Um, it's over for me. Curious of its sharpness. I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Nick! Why'd you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. Wh okay, listen. I'll forgive you. Because you're a cute anime girl. But, yes. That information would have been nice to know before I picked up the knife. If you're squeamish, I'll go wop it. I'll wash it off now. That, without one. Okay, hold on. Two seconds. So, so you're you're saying you can save her, right? Okay. <laughs> and, uh, you can change <laughs> hold her. On. Uh -huh. Two seconds. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm uh. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna be silent for the rest of. I can rest fix of this her. Okay. <laughs> I can save her, okay? Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. I mean, hey, hold on, though. That is kind of the smart thing to do. Like, I don't know. I've done that before. Where, like, I cut myself and then I, like, suck on it for a second. It's supposed to do something to help it stop bleeding. So I can I can rationalize and justify. <laughs> Yuri be, like, <laughs> finger licking good. <laughs> 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 Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. Don't stick the finger back in her mouth. Please don't do that. Eh, okay. Well, it's not as bad. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. The tension would be so thick that you could cut it with that knife. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a bit nicer. Aw. Thanks, Yuri. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Oh my god, stop. Stop! You can't do this to me! Thanks, Doki Doki Literature Club. Game of the Year 2022. Here. I it didn't come out this year? <laughs> Shut up. Enveloped by her own thoughts. Yeah, Monica, you see this? You can't interrupt this one. Is the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? It's not It's not jasmine oil. It's actually, um, what's it called? What's that thing? The thing. What's what thing? What's the thing? You put it on the cloth and then you cover somebody's mouth with it and then they pass out. Chloroform? Yeah, it's chloroform. She put chloroform in the diffuser. <laughs> How the... Okay. How did we go from this little, like, cute little frame to chloroform? <laughs> it's, the, it's the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling. No, it's the chloroform. She's knocking me out. Uh, all right. Yuri's gentle No, finger. not tear gas, Alex. <laughs> And suddenly, her face seems to be much closer no, to mine than it No, not mustard gas! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's just jasmine oil, okay? It's not mustard gas! Chat, calm down. It's just <laughs> jasmine essential oils, okay? <laughs> Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. Whoa, she did get really close. <laughs> I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. T Sayori! There's always somebody to ruin... A good thing going. Monica was right. I should just... Monica. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Monica sus. I need red flags in the chat. That was incredibly sus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stop. I'm paralyzed. Oh, no. Oh, God. I'm paralyzed with choice. Chat. What do I do? Do I stay true to my feelings for Yuri? Or... Do I sacrifice it all to save my childhood friend? What do I do, chat? I need you to tell me. 
I'm not saying anything. I need chat to weigh in on an opinion here. I can't I can't do anything until chat tells me what to do. Say you love her. God, but I don't. <laughs> That's the problem. I don't want to lie. Okay. Here's the thing though. Would it be more detrimental to my relationship with Sayori to say I love you, but I'm lying? Because I feel like that would ultimately hurt her more. Because if you lie to someone consistently over and over again, or even just in this situation where you tell them in a really intense feeling, and then they believe you, it could have detrimental effects. So I think right now it is more important that we are honest and stay true because this is not the harem run of Doki Doki Literature Club. If you lie to someone over and over again, that's called gaslighting. Yes, actually, that is true. So I don't want to gaslight Sayori here. Um, so I'm just going to friend zone. You'll always be my dearest friend. Sayori's file smilingly breaks. Wait, what? Hold on. Hold on. What did I just say? Did I say smile finally breaks or did I say file smilingly breaks? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I said. Yeah, it's a serious moment. It's a serious <laughs> moment, Nick. I don't know. You can't have your aneurysms right now. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What happened? Uh-oh. What happened? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm going to keep moving, though. What's this? I flipped to Sayuri's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Oh, get out of my head, get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show how, show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Now I'm actually worried. Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Oh, God, this game is actually really good because I feel that pit in my stomach. I reach Sayuri's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about the whole stream. Waking her up waking her up in her own house? Isn't that more like something a boyfriend would do? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter a room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Uh-huh. Wait. What the hell? Uh... Wait. My 307C trackback.txt for details. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppress the urge to vomit. Just yesterday... I told Sayuri I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession? That has to have been what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I'd just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just... Lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I only had one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, 
I can never take it back. Never. 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 Damn. And that's the end of Act 1. Oh. Okay. Notice anything different? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. That was heavy as hell. Mm-hmm. That was why I gave the warning. So, Nick, oh. you may be wondering, if you had said anything different, would it have changed that? That is the question that I am asking. Basically, that part is scripted. So, no matter oh. what you said... So, that was the end result that was still way. That was that was still going to happen. Uh. Yeah. So, wait, where do I start in, then? Uh, go to just... just, just um. Load a load a save, and see what happens. Oh. Huh. However, I just um, sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and like do the rep catch up to me. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what are you talking about? That's your childhood friend, isn't it? The best uh best thing I can say about this is um so the real game has started now. Yeah. Um, we're, we're past what I would consider the tutorial of the game. Yeah. <laughs> After five hours. <laughs> After five hours, we are past the tutorial. Huh, fellow horror game hater. <laughs> yeah. I hate horror games with a passion. I <laughs> don't like being scared out of my mind. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll, um, I think hey. we'll stop on this line. And that's today marks well, the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Yup. <laughs>